Toya and I'm the director for Mamma Mia. My name is Disney Toya Sinapati and I am the choreographer for Mamma Mia. history because it goes back to my mum who started me off when I was 13 and uh, I joined the company and introduced my daughter and my children to the company as well. They've, all my children have been on the stage and my father and mother, they were, my mum was in it before me and also directed a lot of shows over the years, played Bloody Mary in the South Pacific, she was amazing um, and dad built sets and was on scenes as well. Um, and then my, my children and then my grandchildren have now started doing it as well. Um, yeah, so that's been fabulous to see the generations coming through. And then, and then my sister and her family and the Quinns, they all have been involved as well. So it's always been a family concern. And we feel like we're part of the Savoy Arts family too. So you look around, there's quite a few families involved and there's quite a heritage there right through the, the 60 years. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, together, step up, step up. Well, my daughter will laugh at this because my first show was The Merry Widow and I was a dancer. She thinks I can't dance anymore, so that's okay. And it was just such fun. My first show was a Showboat in 1986 and I've done probably 20 shows since then on stage and a few more off stage. I couldn't even begin to count the number of shows. I've done something like 50 shows with the company. Uh, it'd have to be Lady Tiang and King and I. That's my favourite. My most memorable show was probably not on stage, but choreographing uh, Chicago. Look at it. Just hold it out. Just hold it out and look at it. Yep. Yeah. And then you were holding it to your chest. And then... I love doing Hot Shoe Shuffle. It was such a good show to work on and so exciting but so challenging. And then working on a show that we did recently called Nice Work If You Can Get It, a little cameo role. And that was fun, yeah. I know, I've been working either with Mum, beside Mum, sitting as a kid in the rehearsal hall while Mum was working on shows. I don't think there's, there's one particular show that I can pull out. I probably have more funny memories of mum from when I was younger and when she was trying to do a, um, a Scottish accent and can't roll her R's. <laughs> and Brigadoo. <laughs> oh no, it was Brigadoo. Yes. <laughs> it was Brigadoo. But for me, what it is, is the pride that we both take in whatever show we're working on. Um, mum in particular for her, just the pride that she had when she, um, with the finished product of The King and I that we did recently. Um, so yeah, I think it's the pride that I see in Mum's face that makes me happy. I'll keep her. <laughs> <laughs>But no, it's, it's a long process. People don't realise it starts months before with set design, and costume design and a whole range of things that have to happen. And then preparing for the auditions is a, a major job. If someone said to you, why do you come back to your office here? What do you think is the drive that brings you back? Slutton for passion. I was going to say insanity. <laughs> It, it is that joy, that joy of, of seeing shows come to life, whether you're on stage or off stage. The joy of working with teams. Um, there's so many groups that we work with. It's not just one little team that works on it. There's lots of people that work on the show and seeing all those groups come together. Listening to the audience applause um, is lovely. That's just the joy of um, just being part of something very special. And, and as I said, seeing people grow. Yeah. Seeing people grow. I think it's the... Uh... There are a lot of um, families that, that are involved in Savoy Arts and, and I hope that, that people that come to work with Savoy Arts feel like they're part of that family. And, and just being around like-minded people uh, who just, I don't know, it's home, it's just home for us and, and we 